Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today it's time for free looks one palette again and you, I usually take your help to uh, pick which palette I'm going to take for the next one and in my last free looks one palette it was three palettes that get the same amount of votes so yeah, uh, I have decided which palette I'm going to take and you have already seen which one and why I decided to take this one because in the voting before this <laughs> this palette came in second place so yeah I thought it was time to do the fair palette from Nordic Cosmetics now we're just going to start with the fair palette and I am so hot I think it's like a heat wave in the whole of Europe right now and the studio lights isn't making it better so Okay, I have, if you have seen my other videos with this palette, I have now the two shades that are supposed to be in this one. So I am going to do my Felix One palette with the palette as it is now. When this palette first came out, if you didn't know it, it was these two shades. I really like these two, especially this one, but I thought it is strange to do a Felix One palette with the shades that isn't in the palette but yeah I am going to start now with the first look and I I didn't say this in the intro but if you don't want to see all the looks I have timestamps in the description it's like when it's this warm my brain stops working so I am planning to do a pink look for my first look and I will start with <laughs> Canis Lupus that is not a pink shade I know but I'm going to take this in my crease I can't like understand people that lives in or people that move like <sighs> okay about Sweden if you didn't know we have summer like our officially summer is three months June July and August and then it's autumn and then it's winter and then it's spring so we have like the whole Sometimes it gets really hot in the summer and super cold in the winter and I can't understand people that moves from Sweden to a country that is hot 12 months a year. I would die. I really would. I I hate this weather. I pff. It's like I'm sweating in places I didn't even know you could be sweaty in. I am sorry for too much information, but... Okay, and then I want to start with pink. So I go in with Visteria, this one, and put also in my crease. But... Yeah, we start with the crease, so... I don't know how visible this is going to be, but... And if you hear the wind, I, we have to have the windows open even though it's windy outside because it's the same degrees outside as it is inside and yes we bought a little air condition but it sounds so loud and it can only be in one room and if I would have it on here you can't hear what I'm saying so, no air condition. Okay, and for my lid I want to try something that I have never done. Or I have never done this version of it. I'm going to do a halo eye, but I'm going to use two colors in my halo. And I have not completely decided on this one, how I'm going to do it, but I will try. So I will keep working a little bit with Visteria. I always think about Desperate Housewives with this shade. I think they lived on Visteria Lane. Uh, so I'm going to take this out here. And now I think I have something else in the rush. So I take a little bit out here. I don't know if this is going to work because I don't have that big eyes. But I will try. So something like that. Okay, so first I was thinking if I only was going to take pack leader, but that feels a little bit boring. So I'm going to take both 
tech leader on wolfing and this wolfing is duochrome i don't know maybe if i swatch it it both can you see now it's gold in the viewfinder it looks a little bit more gold and now it looks a little bit more pink can you see this do i look stupid <laughs> I hope you can see and pack leader is like so pink okay so I'm going in with the NYX glitter glue okay so what I want to do I want to go in with the glitter glue on that empty space for my halo and I like more to go in with the glitter glue I have noticed because it's easier to work with it's not as sticky and it's much more forgiving if you're doing something wrong, in my opinion. So, okay, we start like that. And then I take Wolfing, the duochrome, and put it, it's stuck a lot on the brush, and put it here. On this outside, and on this inside. Oh, this looks cool. In my, in my view, this is gold and this is pink. I don't know if it's picking up on camera or not, but that looked pretty cool. And then in the middle, I want to go in with the pink shimmer pack leader okay, and maybe it would have been enough just to take the wolfing because it is a duochrome okay, I have no idea how this is looking I don't know <laughs> why did I have to make this harder than it should have been I don't know okay I have no idea how this is looking on camera and in real life okay in my in my eyes if I look in this mirror now it is gold pink pink and now it is gold pink gold Maybe this was a super bad idea. I wonder how it looks for you because I don't think you see what I see. So I'll go in with Visteria, the matte pink, a little bit more. Okay, and I have no idea. I think it would have been enough to just take Wolfing, the Duochrome. I don't really know what I think. I don't know if the pack leader is even showing in the middle. But yeah, I will do the same thing on the other eye, fix my base and my brows, take my sun feather a little bit more. And then I will be back and we fix the under eyes together and the first look for this free looks one palette. Okay, and for my under eyes I want to do it simple. So I will start with Visteria, this one, and put it the whole way. I'll excuse the seagull outside if I could I would shoot that one so I want something a little bit more fun so I'm going to take pack leader on a tiny tiny brush spray it and then just put it in the middle of my lower lash okay, I don't know if it made any difference at all but it's there and so I will take something pink in my waterline. I think I will take something from Colourpop or I know I will take something from Colourpop. Put on mascara and put on a lipstick and then I will be back with the first look. So this is the first look for my lips. I used November from Colourpop and also a shiny lip a liquid from the Butter Shop in Orange Lollipop. For my waterline I used Insomniac from 
Colourpop. So this is the first uh, look for my Free Looks One palette. And I don't know what I think. If I'm going to be honest, I I think it would have been enough with only wolfing on my in my halo because it is such duochrome. But I am okay with pack leader as well, so yeah. I don't know how much the camera picks up on this look because it feels like you only see pink. But I see a little bit of gold as well. So I really hope that you can see that. So this was my first look with the Faro palette with Menagerie Cosmetics from Menagerie Cosmetics. And if you want to see more, just keep on watching. So it's time for look number two with the Menagerie Cosmetics Feral palette. I am not 100% sure what I want to do today. So this will be interesting. I will at least start with this... Fenris, and I have no idea where this look is going to end, so I think I just will go with the flow. I have a little idea, but I have no idea <laughs> if that idea is a good idea. So I will start with this, and this was maybe a little bit more darker, not darker, but a little bit more not like bright green and I think I have cat hair somewhere that is itching me. I will go in with this shimmer green, Huchera. Huchera. I'm so sorry. And this green is a little bit more harder than the pack leader and wolfing. So I hope that this will work. On my brush, and I will put it on my outer corner, my eye, and this is maybe brighter than I thought it would be. Maybe I should have taken something under this, but it is a little bit late for that. I think this is buildable though, so I can. Just keep on packing it on. This is really, really nice. It, it has a little bit of a gold sheen to it. I don't really know how I feel about this. If it was a good idea or not. So I will take <laughs> this purple one. Or do I? Or do I want to take this orange one? Okay. Time to swatch. Orange or purple? Orange. I think orange and not purple. Yes. Put this in here. This was maybe not a good choice either. And this feels a little bit patchy actually. Maybe I just have to pack it on a little bit. Yes, so I will go in with the shimmery green one again and just tap it over here. And try to mix them a little bit better here. I think I want to go in with the shade I took in my crease a little bit more just to intensify it and also like blend it a little bit better here. So what do I feel about this? I am not really sure what I feel about this. It actually feels like the orange is laying a little bit in my creases on my eyelid and I do not like that at all. So it's like becoming a little bit patchy. 
But okay, something like this. I think I will go like this. Yes, I will. So I will fix the other eye and then I will do my base and my brows and I will come back and I think I will do something else for my lower lash. Or maybe not. I will I will think about it a little bit. So I will fix my base and my brows and then I will come back and we fix the under eyes together. So I am back and my under eyes I tried another concealer that I usually don't use um, and it was not good. So for my under eyes I will take I wonder what I will take in here if I wanted to do the same but I don't think so. I will take this green one that I have in my crease and smoke it out on my lower lash. Okay, and for my inner eyes, I don't really know what I want to do. If I want to take... I'm thinking about either... Okay, I'm going to swatch now. I have three options. Yellow, purple, or blue. Yellow, purple, or blue. Purple. Yellow, maybe? I wish that I could ask you, but it's a little bit hard to do that. I think I will go with the yellow. Maybe this wasn't a good idea because to have... White balance, please. I want it to be really... Like, bright and popping, but that's... A little bit hard with the yellow when you don't have a sticky base but okay this maybe works it has to because now it's done so I will put something in my waterline put on mascara and a lipstick and then I will be back with a complete second look so this is the finished second look for my waterline I used cross from Colourpop and for my lips I used Jeffree Star's pumpkin pie so, yeah, I... How do I feel about this? I don't know. I think I like it, but it wasn't... I don't know what I expected when I started, but it felt like it wasn't this, but now it's this, and I am pretty okay with it. So, yeah. This is my second look with the Feral palette, and I don't know what I want to do for the last look. So yeah, I hope you like this look as well and we just hop into the third and last look for this free looks one palette. Okay, I started talking without start to record. Okay, so I am back with the third look with the Ferro palette from Menardi Cosmetics and it is four colors that I haven't used in this one yet. So I'm going to use them in this look and I also, I think I are at least... Yes, so I'm going to start, but I'm using five shades in this and my eyes seems a little bit stained. It's from the look before this. So I will start with Canis Lupus. I have used this in my first look, I think, but I want this in my crease. I love this shade. Actually, I think it's really, really good. Okay, and I think I want to do this look pretty dark, so I will take Alpha, this dark grey one, and put it in my crease as well, but I use a smaller pointier blending brush. I know that some people think this is uh, pretty big, but for me it is pretty small, and I want to take this in my crease as well, just to make it a little bit deeper. Or darker, I never know what to say. So, something like that. I don't know if I've used this shade before. I have done a first impression and a palette bingo with this. 
And in my first impression and in my palette bingo, I got like almost the same shades. That was such a bummer. Something like that. And then I think I want to take a brush. I don't think I know I want to take a brush. And then I want to go into Ivy, this dark green. And put it on my outer. Put it on my lid. This color is so nice. Cause apparently green is my new jazz. I don't know where that came from. But I actually like green now. I like this. This is pretty like a little grungier. Maybe not grungy, but this is I I just like that this green. Just leave it like that and I don't know if you can hear but I think it's a helicopter outside or a little plane. I will go in with Harmonia, this bluish turquoise. I don't really know what kind of color. And this is the new shade. Or if you buy this palette now, it's going to be in the palette. But when I bought this palette, it didn't look like this. I talked about this in my intro, I think. But if you buy this palette now, it looks like this. Okay. I don't know if it became a little bit darker because of the green. Maybe it did, but I am not disappointed at all. Just want to take a little bit more. Okay, put it over here. Okay, I think you can... Yeah, if I build it up, it is a little bit brighter. Okay, now <laughs> it's taking over from the green. I like always do like this. If I put a shadow on the inner half and I like it, I tend to go over to the outer half way too much. Like always. But I feel that something like this is maybe good. I would just go in with my crease brush without any extra product and just smudge it a little bit. I got like this baby hair here that is the perfect length to make me blind because it's like whoop and into my eye. Okay, I think I like this ah. Uh, what do you think? So I will do the same on the other eye, fix my base and my brows and then I will come back and we have two colors left. No, we have one color left that I haven't used yet and this is, that is the purple. Or did I use the purple one? I don't think so. Okay, so I will fix the other eyes, fix my base and my brows, and then I will come back and we will see what I'm doing for my under eyes and to the rest of this look. So I will fix everything and then I will be back. So, time for the under eyes. And I will take... I will start with this purple one. So I will take this underneath my eye. That was so sure that I have already used this, but I don't think I have. So, okay, I think I will take something in my inner corner. First of all, like, I'm going to do this whole matte look, but I don't think I want to do that. So, yeah, I will do something shimmer in my inner corner. I'm just going to do the, this under eye as well. I think I will take this green shimmer. I don't know, maybe it looks strange. I No, I think I just will wing it. But I think I need to spray it, so I need my spray for this. So I will take this green shimmer, spray it and put it in my inner corner. Okay, I don't know if this was the best brush for it. 
and I don't know if this was a good idea. White balance, please work with me. I always like go too too much with my under eyes, so I have to take a little of the purple. Because you see, it's it's too much. I don't know why I always do this. Because I don't know how to fix this. So I will put something in my waterline, put on a lipstick, mascara, and then I will be back with the third finished look. And then I will also get into my little review. I don't think it's going to be a long review. It usually is not in my Freelix One palette. But I will talk a little bit about the palette. So yeah. So this is the finished look for my wash line. I used Piggy Bank from Colourpop, which is, which is purple one. For my lips, I used two things. I used Benadryl's Eptasia. Don't know if that is the right pronunciation. Over that, I used Lemon Sherbet, a shine lip liquid from Body Shop, just to have. I don't know what I think about the lip, but. That's what I have on. So this is my third look with the Feral palette in my Fruit Looks One palette. And if you want to see my little review part, just keep on watching. So what do I think about this palette? Do I think it's good? Do I think it sh is shit? Do I think it's the best palette ever? I don't think it's the best palette ever, but I think it is a good palette. It has 12 shades. And I feel that this is pretty different from the Dragon Child. If you have, haven't seen my review on the Dragon Child, I can leave my Felix One palette and review up here. I have though changed my mind a little bit about the Dragon Child. You have to use, or I have to use, a different technique for the Dragon Child. But now we're talking about the Fairy palette. Oh my lord. This one I think you can use as normal you don't have to be an expert you don't have to be anything i'm not an expert but i hope you get what i mean so i think this is more like a normal palette the shimmers are a little bit different these two uh, wolfing and pack leader they are very like creamy like a moussey Shadows, if you have the Colourpop sh high, Super Shock Chic highlighter, these are like the same. You can like push them around and they are a little bit moussey, but they are, they are good to use. They work without like a super sticky base, but they are amazing on a sticky base. This green shimmer is a little bit harder. It's nothing wrong with it. It is still a good shimmer, but it's like a normal shimmer. And these two are more like... More like a moussey and a little bit more fallout. I think that these shimmers are... So good, all of them. Um, this is like a duochrome. I have to see in the viewfinder, I think. It's pink and gold. And this pink one is just pink and this green one is gold and green. I feel that it's a little bit boring that like two of them are gold-ish. But I like them either way. I think the matte shadows in this palette are pretty consistent. I feel that they are the same formula. Some of them you really have to build up. I feel that these and the purple are the best I don't know where to hold it these three and the purple I think are the best matte or, and also these the yellow one, the orange one and this one need a little bit more packing but it's not like a disaster I feel that this one needs the most packing on if you just put it on and blend it it loses its it loosen its intensity. I don't know what more to say. I think it's a good palette. If you like the color story and the colors in it, buy it because it is a good palette and you can do different looks with it. You can also do a more natural look if you want that in a palette. So that I really like. 
because sometimes you maybe don't do want to do colorful but most of the times you do <laughs> so yeah i think it is a good palette and i'm happy that i bought it and also this little fact about the palettes these are all magnetic and you can take them out so yeah i like this palette i am happy that i bought it i have nothing to complain about and the front of it is amazing so this is a really good palette buy it if you like the color story or if you just like some of the colors buy them as single you have that option as well so yeah that was all for my little review i don't want to do like super long reviews in this free looks one palette because this video is i think it's pretty long they usually are pretty long so yeah, I really hope you liked this video and please tell me which is your favorite look. I think actually this is my favorite look. I don't know about the lip, but I think... I think it's pretty okay. Or maybe even good. So I think this is my favorite look. And yeah, I can also say that about staining with this palette, I feel like the colors stain a little bit, but it's nothing like... You have to plan it's not that visible staining so people are going to like what have you done it's not staining like this but they stain a little bit just so you know i don't mind it as long as it doesn't look like i have a black eye or something then i'm okay with some staining so yeah i really hope you like this video and i hope i will see you in the next one bye